Hi everyone, it's Jamie again. It's Monday and I'm back from a Reading Festival. I am very, very tired, but it felt so good to sleep in my own bed and use an actual toilet this morning. Because you, you just don't want to use the toilets at Reading. I tried to avoid them as much as possible, but it was difficult. Uh, first thing, if you're going to a festival, when you buy your tent, if it says a two-person tent, believe me, it's only a one-person tent. You don't have room to stand up. I, I felt really awkward trying to put on... Um, jeans I felt like I'd put on loads of weight well you've met me you know I've not put on any weight and I really struggled to get them on in that tiny little tent great I'm getting bugs on me I should not be recording outside um, my foot was already in this year I don't know what's happened to it like this is my seventh one in ten years well eleven if you count you know the way math works um, it's really, really strange now. It's very commercial. There's more dance acts. I remember when I went in 2003, it was more of a rock festival. Now it's absolutely everything, and you get a lot of um, different people. I feel like the crowd's getting a lot younger. Um, a lot of people run around going, Ooh, Jesus, he's yeah. What's really, really strange, and got to love the, um, the student this year, because they were going around tents and taking alcohol off of under-18s what's good because you could see a lot of 16 year olds that were getting really really fucked oops probably shouldn't have swore on this but I don't edit them so it's going to stay in there um, yeah the, the crowd was just young and drunk and quite obnoxious I found the strange thing was that if you were aged between 20 and 30 you were well behaved anything below or after that you were an absolute arsehole like we went to see um, Codeine, Codeline, I don't know how to pronounce stuff, you will learn this while watching my videos. And we had, um, we were sitting in front of the screen, and this old couple literally just stood there. Everyone else is sitting down, and like, come on, seriously, sit down, or move away, don't be a dickhead. I've sworn so many times already in this. Um, bands I saw, let's start on Friday. Oh crap, I can't even remember who I saw. Uh, Green Day were amazing. I did find their version of um, Good Riddance to be really short and the crowd didn't seem to be singing it as much as when I saw them in 2004 because that was absolutely epic in 2004. Every, it was their last song. As they walked away, um, the whole crowd carried on singing and even when they were leaving the arena, walking into the campsites, everyone was still singing that song and that was one of my favourite Reading memories of past seven times I've been there. Um, I really can't remember who else I saw that I enjoyed. A uh, Bastille, if I'm pronouncing that right again, you know what I'm like. Incredible. There was three times as many people outside the tent as there was in. It was absolutely rammed. I've never seen the en enemy tent that packed. Um, I can't wait to see them in October at Brixton Academy. Tickets actually arrived when I got home, so that was quite a nice reminder of the weekend. Um, saw Eminem. I've been wanting to see him for years. Everyone knows I do like the occasional bit of rap music. Growing up on a council estate, this sort of thing happens. Um, I was quite disappointed that he seemed to mime quite a lot of his performance. I don't I like it, he still the stuff he did sing, even with miming everyone the crowd was so full of energy it was a great performance definitely a highlight of the weekend um fallout boy absolutely incredible i can never fault a fallout boy performance they were great the crowd were a bit dead but it was brilliant to hear foxes come out during um oh fuck what's, how, what's the song called i'm terrible with song names at the moment something yesterday amazing they played alone together what's my favorite song off of uh, save rock and roll so I was really happy. Um, trying to think who else I've actually seen. I left so early on Sunday as well. I, I can't handle the riots on Sundays. They're just everyone's arsehole side come out. I almost died one year when some idiot decided to throw a gas canister on the fire on Sunday night. And it blew up and the tent next to me got caught on fire. And my response was just to go back to sleep. And that way I wake up in the morning and leave. Um, Imagine Dragons were really good. Oh, talking about um, people that came out on stage during other people's acts. Uh, 
Dido came out during Eminem's performance of Stan. That was absolutely incredible. It was one of my favourite Eminem songs, and the fact that she came out and played it was really, really good. Uh, Imagine Dragons, Mr. Girl. Yeah, other than that, um, oh, Don Bronco. Really good performance. How they've gone, they've literally just skyrocketed in the last couple of years. Their album priorities is really good, and is really proud to see a good British band on that, that main stage and they deserved it. Uh, people have read it and if you actually watch this, put Bastille on the main stage because your organisation was shit for them this year. Right, I'm back to the real world now as you can see in shiny burnt oak. Oh, Also for my American followers that have me on Twitter and Facebook, uh, it's red in festival it's the place in England I wasn't going to a book festival as a lot of you seem to think it was a music festival uh, I think it might be my last year there uh, if I do go again it'll probably be for a day or if I do a weekend it's gonna have to take quite a lot of huge acts and I will probably will end up um, getting a hotel because I need to sleep comfortably and shower because I stunk on that train home last night and I apologize to the general members of the public and um, if you do go to a Reading Festival with me, expect me to, um, if Arsenal are on TV, leave and go and watch them. It happens every year. I've gone to see them every time and it's pissed off every single person I've camped with. But I don't care because it's Arsenal and I love that team even though they're, they're, they're an abusive relationship. But I, I love that team. Um, big shout out to Tasha and Sam, Charlie, Laura, Bassett. Emily, Amy, Vicky, Steph, Lois, did I say Charlie already? I might have said Charlie already, who am I missing, who am I missing? Molly, I think that's everyone in my camp, you guys were awesome, I actually loved camping with you more than hanging out with my um, people that I consider family, because they were drunk and annoying, and yeah this was my first sober Reading festival. What was kind of hard, it made me hate people. Like, I, I don't know, I felt like I had to be drunk to be around a lot of people, generally, not just my friends, just, and I didn't, so it was kind of a weird experience to do Red Festival completely sober. So yeah, don't don't try it, it's not fun, it really isn't. Oh, and a uh, special shout out to all the friends in uh, Orange Camp, it was an absolute mission to get to you guys, but it was fun hanging out with you. And I can't wait to see you guys at Face Down because I don't go to Uproar or Anthem anymore. So you guys will have to come around mine or I have to come around yours. But I'm trying to save up for six weeks in America. So yeah, I'm going to have to prioritise. All right, I'm off to see my friend now that she's moved into uh, back to London because I've not seen her for a while and give her a present from VidCon. So see you guys um, next Monday for another vlog. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do weekly ones, by the way. Uh, every Monday, a new vlog. So look out for them.